Hey there. I love this question. It just came in recently and that is, uh, as people are doing these frequency shifts and they're moving their life up out of hopelessness and despair, uh, victim mindset, victim beliefs, victim communications to themselves, victim choices, uh, and then out of depression, anxiety, sleeplessness, they're shifting up, up, up. Does it happen sometimes that they will feel like they fall back down into it? And uh, then what? So here's the thing. Every time you decide, I'm shifting my frequency, I refuse to live in this kind of suffering, I'm not going to live with this kind of hardship, I'm not going to stay depressed, I have a choice in this matter, and I'm choosing how I live. Every time you do that, you have a new touchstone of that. And you're going to be jumping back to that touchstone and then shifting your frequency up from there. It's going to feel at times, maybe, it could feel that you're falling backwards. You really never are. You're just gathering more momentum for the next leap. So can it seem like things aren't helping, that you keep running into the same blocks, that you're feeling the same stagnation, that uh, what's the use or that hopelessness can creep in and say, I don't think this is working. Be careful with that. I take caution with that. <laughs> because what can happen is you can be self-sabotaging yourself right out of your joy. And it can be from things of lack of self-worth, lack of self-esteem, not feeling deserving of the happiness, of the peace, of things being easy. How many times do you hear every single day, hard something, hard work, you have to work hard at it. Nothing ever good comes from easy. And if you haven't worked hard at it, you really haven't earned it. Think about the word hard. It is totally plowed into, I mean, it, talk about brainwashing us into thinking that we have to suffer to live. So we have to be the ones that decide, no, it's not going to be that way. I'm going to choose a different path. I'm going to be in my joy. Uh, yes, I'm going to have challenges here and there. Yes, things are going to get to me and get really buggy sometimes. And maybe I'll get super frustrated and irritated. doesn't mean I'm failing. doesn't mean I'm falling back. doesn't mean I'm going to go back into that deep, dark place of depression or be suffering with anxiety so much that I can't leave the house, that I have to stay and not see anybody, not talk to anybody do a bunch of different things outside of myself, project all my power outside of myself so that I can feel good for a smattering of time and just like treat the symptom, put another band-aid on it through a pill or pot or booze or whatever. And instead say, no, we get to come back into our power. It can be a, a tortoise way. It can be a hair way. And we decide how we're going to do it. Some people can go through these frequency shifts very quickly and decide, you know what, that's it. I like joy. I feel good with joy. I feel good with peace. I'm not going to turn away from it anymore. I'm not going to determine that I can't be in it, that I have to suffer, that this physical pain that I've had, I've had it all these years. Well, how is it going to go away now? And all of that kind of communication that we give back to ourselves that says that we can't feel good. We're not supposed to feel good. We, we're not, you know, we don't deserve to feel good. All that stuff is going to lessen and lessen and lessen the more that you decide that you get to move your frequency shifts. And again, you might watch people that it seems like they keep falling down or it seems like they keep falling backwards. They're not. They are not. They have a new touchstone every single time to a possibility. They reach a possibility and they say, this is possible. I have felt that before. And if you know people around you right now with this, be sure to tell them that. Be sure to share that message that, guess what? You have reached a new possibility. Don't forget about that. So this is a big one. It's huge, especially, I don't know, in the other parts of the world, I haven't bumped into it as much. This, what would you call it? An acceptance of misery, an acceptance of hardship, an acceptance of struggle, an acceptance of uh, deciding that's just the way it has to be instead of this life is your life and you get to be in it as epically as you desire and you get to live it as epically. You get to have it be in extraordinarily fun and have things in it that you can't even imagine. As a child, you didn't even let yourself imagine it because of the language that was going on around you or how you were being treated. If there was abuse in the household, all that stuff can have made it seem like it's not possible. And all of a sudden you had tastes of it now. And so you're going, wait a minute, just because of that conditioning, I kept myself out of my joy. I kept myself out of my peace. No more, right? So take heart. Remind people around you when you've seen them in their joy, embrace it, support them in their joy and their peace, rather than putting all of that energy into worrying about their poor health and when they're 
infusing all of that with all kinds of, I know this is gonna be a tough one for some people, but it's giving all of that attention to what doesn't serve the person, that they're really not happy. If we give all of our attention to when they're not happy, what happens when they are? Do they feel safe in being happy? Or are they gonna feel like the love isn't gonna be there for them? Because that is a big one in the US. <laughs> so let this sift in however you want. That's, this all came from the quantum right now. They're all talking about this because there are so many people taking their lives out of form, out of the mere uh, belief that there isn't an existence of joy here for us in form that there isn't peace here in form for us, that we don't get to live the things that we knew at one point or another were things that we really wanted to live. And so what happens a lot of times is people decide not to stay in form because they think, well, I didn't sign up for this. I'm not gonna be somewhere where I have to be in such extreme pain because all of my heritage was, or there are four generations of it going on in my family. So what if you're the pioneer? What if somebody around you is the pioneer that's breaking away from all that conditioning that life is to be, guess what? It can be a joy and it can be a peace and every single time they land there, that's another touchstone. It's for a minute, all right? Love you lots. This is Jeannie Mubaha. Make a walk with your angels and joy from Peace.